In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hello, my name is Father Michael. I serve as an exorcist priest in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Uh, we're an autonomous church from the old calendar Greek Orthodox Church from Alexandria. And I'm going to share with you a very special cross that I have. Uh, it's made out of a special type of material. And uh, it's been with me for a good number of years. It was a gift to me uh, from another exorcist. And um, it's been blessed on the Orthodox uh, altar and blessed over uh, many, many relics of uh, holy saints and uh, also on holy icons. And um, it's just a very special cross that I've had uh, for a good number of years. May God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May the evil spirits in your life be pierced by the Lord Jesus Christ, cast out and destroyed, both now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of Saint Nikita of Navagorod, Kiri Adesan. Through the prayers of Saint Gerasimus of Kefalonia, Kiri Adesan. Through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, Kiri Adesan. Through the prayers of Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, Kiri Adesan. Through the intercessions of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers and intercessions of Holy Evangelists Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers and intercessions of Saint Herman of Alaska, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers of Saint Cyprianos and Justina, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers and intercessions of Saint Mary of Egypt, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers and intercessions of Saint Marina of Egypt, Kitty Eleison. Through the prayers and intercessions of my patron saint, Elijah the prophet, Kiri Eleison. Through the prayers of the holy archangel, Mikael, and through the holy angel, Gabriel, and all the holy angels, who are Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, Kiri Eleison. So the prayers of exorcism that I'm going to be praying now in this video is taken from the earliest prayers of exorcism uh, in the Orthodox Church, uh, the prayers of St. Basil the Great, and also of St. John Chrysostom. I'll be reading the prayers right now of St. Basil the Great. And uh, these were um, taken in the year 330 to 379 AD. From 330 to... 379 AD, and these would be the prayers of Saint Basil the Great. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. I expel you, primal source of blasphemy, prince of the rebel host, originator of evil. I expel you, Lucifer, who was cast from the brims on high into the darkness of the abyss on account of your arrogance. I expel you and all the fallen host which followed your will. I expel you, spirit of uncleanliness, rebellion, who revolted against Adonai Elohim, omnipotent God, who saw forth the army of his angels. Be gone and depart from the servant and handmaid of God, Father Michael, Sister Nectaria and all true, baptized, chrismated, and orthodox Christians, all who are possessed, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all who are infested, all who are sick, I expel you in the name of Him who created all things by His Word, His only begotten Son, our Lord, Jesus Christos, Nika, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is ineffably especially born, before the ages by whom was formed all things invisible and invisible, who made man after his image, who guarded him by the angels, who trained him in the law, who drowned sin in the flood of waters from above, and who shut up the abysses under the heavens, who demolished the impious race of giants, who shook down the Tower of Babel, who reduced Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes by sulfur and fire, a fact to which the unceasing vapors testify, and who by the staff of Moses separated the waters of the Red Sea, opening a waterless path for the people, while the tyrannical Pharaoh and his God-fighting army were drowned forever in his ways, a wicked persecution of them, and who in these last days was an express of the incarnate of a pure virgin, who preserved the seal of her chastity intact, and who was pleased to purge our ancient defilement in the baptismal cleansing, I expel you, Satan. Whoever you are and wherever you are, whatever form you take, by virtue of Christ's baptism in the Jordan, 
which for us is a type of our inheritance of incorruption through grace and sanctified waters, in the same one who astounded the angels and all the heavenly powers when they beheld God incarnate in the flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and who also revealed at the Jordan his beginning the Father and the Holy Spirit, with whom he shares the unity of the Trinity in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I expel you, evil one, in the name of him who rebuked the wind, still the turbulent sea, who banished a legion of demons, open the eyes of him who was born blind from his mother's womb, and who from clay fashioned sight for him, whereby he reenacted the ancient profession of our faith, who restored the speech of the speechless, purged the stigma of leprosy, raised the dead from the grave, who himself despoiled Hades by his death and resurrection, and thereby rendering mankind impervious to death. I expel you, whoever you are, and wherever you are, wherever you act, in the name of Almighty God, who filled men with the unbreathed and divinely inspired voice, who wrought together with the apostles of piety, which has filled the universe. Demons fear and flee and run and leave unclean and accursed spirits, rebellious unto the Lord Jesus Christ, deceitful and seemingly creatures of the infernal depths, visible through deceit, hidden by pretense, depart wherever you may appear, Beelzebul vanishes smoke and heat, bestial and serpentine thing, Jezebel, whether disguised as a male or a female, whether you're a beast or a crawling thing or flying, with a girl is mute or speechless, male or female, whether bringing fear of being trampled or rending apart, conniving, whether oppressing or burning sleep, by some display of weakness, by distracting laughter or taking pleasure in the false tears, whether by ledger, stench or carnal lust, pleasure, addiction to drugs, divination or astrology, whether dwelling in a house or a building, place of business or an animal, whether possessed by audacity or contentious instability, wherever you hide or lurk, whether striking him or her with lunacy or returning to them after the passage of some time, whether you be of the morning, noonday, midnight or night, time, definite time or daybreak, whether spontaneous or sent to someone or coming upon him or her unaware, whether from a sea or river beneath the earth or a well or ravine, a hollow, a lake, a thicket of reeds from matter land refuse, whether from a grove or a tree or a thicket from a fowl or thunder, whether you be from the precincts of a bath, a pool of water from a pagan sepulcher, or from any place where you may lurk, whether by knowledge or ignorance, or any place not mentioned here, depart now and separate yourself from him and her, from every place you are, be banished before him, who was made in the image of God and shaped by his hand. Fear the likeness of the incarnate God, Jesus Christos Nika, and no longer hide the servant and handmaid. Father Mikael, Sister Nectaria, all Orthodox Christians, all who are possessed, all who are infested, all who are troubled, plague, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, all true Christians, rather await the rod of iron, the fiery furnace of Tartarus, gnashing the teeth of prize of disobedience, be afraid and be still, flee, neither return nor hide in him or her, some other kind of evil unclean spirit, depart now, vanquished into the uncultivated, waterless waste of the desert, where no man dwells, where God alone recently watches, who shall bind you, that dares with enemy to plot against his image, and who with chains of darkness shall hold you in Tartarus, who by day and by night, for a great length of time, has devised all manners of evil, so devil, for great is your fear of God, and great is the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. To the intercessions of the Lord Jesus Christ and all true Christians, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the Lord God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all.